Kittle's running a crazy promotion right now in which we can use Nano Banana for free for an entire week. And since they integrated Nano Banana into Kittle Flows as the default AI, that means that we can leverage Kittle Flows to our heart's content for an entire week. So in this video, we are going to go over how Nano Banana behaves within Kittle Flows. And we're also going to check out the new AI chat functionality that Kittle baked into their software. And I have to tell you that between the AI chat functionality and the integration of Nano Banana into Kittle Flows, you can get a lot done very quickly. But let's just go ahead and jump into Kittle and see these features in action. Okay, so here we are with the old Kittle Flows template that I used in a previous video. And these were all done with the ChatGPT Image 1 HD version. And as you can see here, it is a 60 second generation with 42 credits. And if we change it to Nano Banana, it's 15 seconds and 10 tokens. And that is a quarter of the cost. And as you're going to see, Nano Banana does a very good job doing most of the tasks and it does a lot better than ChatGPT in some areas. So this is what it looked like with ChatGPT and we can go ahead and we can press Alt and drag it. And what we would do here is we could go ahead and just change the image generation AI model to Nano Banana in all of these instances. And we can drag to select all of these smart boards and hit generate again. And as you can see here, we've got some pretty solid options and we did it for a quarter of the time and a quarter of the cost. So if we do a direct comparison here, we have pretty solid results here. And if you look closely at the original image and then you look across to how Nano Banana handles it, you're more likely to end up with the patches being in the same type of vein as this one. And we have a lot more of the original elements coming through. And I think that depending on your preferences, Nano Banana does a better job than ChatGPT, especially when it comes to something that is more vibrant. Because if you look closely over here, we end up with a lot more muted tones than what's in the original image. And it has that yellowish, earthy tint that ChatGPT tends to have. Okay, so here we are with the other design shifter that I had where we used ChatGPT originally over here and it had some pretty decent results for Feral Cousins Social Club. And let's go ahead and switch it over to Nano Banana. Okay, so I went ahead and I switched all of the models to Nano Banana. So all we have to do is select all the smart boards and hit generate again and see how Nano Banana does. Okay, so let's have a scroll through. We've got Kawaii. I preferred the ChatGPT edition, to be honest, but they are both clearly Kawaii. The spelling appears to be pretty good. The color palette change was pretty good. Uh, in this instance, I think that I prefer this one a little bit more but they're comparable in quality. And, and this, this was also a pretty comparable thing. This is a stylistic choice. I think that this is more muted and heavy metal. And then over here, I, I actually clearly prefer the take that Nano Banana had when it came to the pop art style. It's very comparable. And if it's comparable and it's a quarter of the time, and a quarter of the cost, we're probably going to go with that one, right? So if we kind of look at it from the side-by-side -side perspective for each of them, these are all very similar in quality, but what you prefer will depend a lot on the exact style you're looking for. I think that Nano Banana does a better job of keeping things vibrant, and ChatGPT might have a little bit better of prompt adherence. So I wouldn't count ChatGPT's image generator out. It's more of a 
pick the right tool for the job. Okay, so we've done our comparison of what Nano Banana versus ChatGPT looks like in terms of Kittle flows. The other thing that I wanted to cover is how we can use the new AI chat function in order to work collaboratively with Kittle's AI features. So there are really two ways to get to the AI chat feature. And one of them is by simply going to the sidebar here and then clicking chat over here. And that will bring us into this chat feature where we have this suggested creation, but we could really use it as simply as we would use ChatGPT. So that's one method. The other method we could use is pulling the image directly into the context window by clicking on the image. And then after we click the image, we can go to AI chat. And the cool thing about doing it that way is we immediately have the image that we're talking about in the context window. So when we talk to AI chat, it knows exactly what we're talking about. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in this very simple prompt saying, given this image, tell me how I can expand this t-shirt design by changing phrases and text. And what it does is it provides the variations that we asked for along with other potential suggestions. And if you use Kittle flows alongside some of these suggestions, you can end up creating a loop of creativity where you can quickly scale out your designs. Okay, so we pulled this image down into the artboard and all we need to do is click the artboard and then we can click this arrow or we can click add smartboard over here in the sidebar. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click the arrow and what we could do is we could take the, our suggestions that we received from AI chat and we can tell it what we want to swap out. Change the words to say rebel family, band of misfits, and embrace the chaos. So all we're doing is asking for the simple text swap outs and we will see how that goes. And there we go. That's a pretty solid take on the attitude behind this design. It didn't have any misspellings and it did a really good job of maintaining the overall aesthetic. And this is something that Google's Nano Banana Image Generator is really good at doing. Now, I want to show you another interesting thing that we can do that with Nano Banana, we are now able to do it. So as an image generator, the Google Nano Banana Image Generator does a really good job of making things like lifestyle mockups. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take this smart board, we are going to click AI chat, and then we've fed this image into the context window of the chat. And what we're doing is we're asking for a prompt that will give the subject action environment art style, lighting, and details for a realistic lifestyle mock-up with a woman in a black t-shirt that makes sense for this design. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take this and we're going to modify this prompt to not have a specific title. We will provide an image as context. Okay, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna copy it, we can close this off, we can click this smart board and what we're going to do is drop this in here and then we're going to say put this design on the black shirt described using this prompt for generating a lifestyle mock-up. And then we're going to go ahead and just do a double quote on the whole thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit generate and see how it goes. And there we go. That is a really solid placement of this design on that mock-up. If you look at the design itself and we zoom into it, and then we zoom into this one, we end up with something that is, at least to my eye, I can't see any differences. And being able to mock up designs this way can be a real game changer if you're trying to do organic marketing on Pinterest or Instagram or if you are using lifestyle mockups on Etsy or any other platform or shop that you own. And the Nano Banana Image Generator is so much better 
than ChatGPT when it comes to this type of use case. And just for fun, let's go ahead and alt drag this and we will see what ChatGPT would have done with it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do the ChatGPT image one HD. We're gonna hit generate again and we're gonna see how it does. And here we are with ChatGPT's take and I have to say, it is not the best take. The yellow is very pronounced and the design does not look at all the same. And if you compare these mockups directly, the shot and the proportions are just so much better with this image. Okay, so that was the new AI chat feature alongside a pretty significant upgrade to Kittle Flows by including Nano Banana as an option. Nano Banana is an incredible step up when it comes to mockups and things of that nature. And it's generally way faster and it's much more vibrant. So depending on your use case, Nano Banana is going to be a much better option. But like I said at the beginning of the video, they do have a promotion where if you are an expert or a pro user, for this entire week, you're going to be able to do image generations using Nano Banana for free. So you could set up your Kittle flows, you can experiment with it, and you can scale during that period of time. So if you want to take advantage of that limited time offer, you can check out the link I have in the description below. And I also have a 25% off coupon code that you can use as well. And that is also in the description. As always, I appreciate you watching. Check out the links below if you want to check out Kittle. And if you want to see how I used Kittle to take a crappy iPhone picture and turn it into a different finished design, then check out this video over here.